extra possessions on the offensive end, making free throws, making threes. I mean, I think everything he's done has been a huge part of why we've been able to, to have our success so far this year. Damon, in one of the games in the first round against OKC, you exp uh, expressed some displeasure over your team maybe getting too involved with the officiating and stuff. And was there any of that tonight? Um, in the first series, I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't displeasure. Uh, I just didn't think it was going to be in our favor, you know, by us going back and forth with them. The game was being called how it was being called. Um, and tonight, I think it was, you know, it was a game we wanted to win. It was a little bit, bit of a heated game, you know, when it came to the whistle for us. And we would say something when something needed to be said. I mean, <clears throat> we weren't coming at them. I mean, nobody got a tech, so it wasn't, it wasn't anything disrespectful. But um, when your season is on the line, you got to be willing to, to challenge what's happening out there and, you know, try to put your team in the best position to win. And I think it was a little bit more of that, you know, probably more than we needed. You know, maybe we need to, you know, not say as much. But, I mean, it's anytime you see guys um, wanting it that bad, you know, you're going to say stuff sometimes. And I think, you know, we might have had a little bit too much of that tonight. Dame, was uh, Denver's defensive approach any different than what you saw last series? And how do you feel like you adjusted to it throughout the game? Uh, I mean, OKC and Denver both top top 10 defensive teams. So we knew we were going to have to come in and um, be sharp on, on the offensive end. Um, but I think it was actually more similar than I thought. Uh, the bigs were, were up at the level of the screen. Um, when I was coming off, they were staying until I got rid of the ball. Uh, it, was, it was really similar. It was a guy picking me up full court, just like in the OKC series. So it was similar, but, um, you know, all teams are different. All personnel is different. And, um, you know, obviously what we did tonight wasn't good enough. So uh, watch film and, and go into the next game uh, knowing how we can take better advantage of, of what they were doing. Two more questions. And Ennis, I'm just wondering, obviously you're going to continue treatment. Kind of what's the plan now with your shoulder going forward, do you think? Um, just you know, just, just keep playing through it. You know, they, I mean, with the painkillers, injections, anything I can do to just help my teammate. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, one arm, two arm, I'm just going to go out there and just uh, help my teammates win, man. Because, I mean, I, uh, I signed with this team in February, but this team uh, put so much work and effort the whole season. And, uh, you know, they trust him and I trusted them. So it doesn't matter uh, what happens. I'm just going to go out there and uh, try to do the best I can to just help them on, uh, on both ends. Any other questions? Jamal Murray coming in next for the Denver Nuggets side in his canter. He, look, hurt or healthy, fantastic tonight. Been efficient. Been a big help for them without Nurkic for sure. On the other side, Jamal Murray, eight assists, only one turnover, scored 23 in Denver's win. What was the key kind of just the, 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 the turnaround? Because Coach Mullen said the one thing that he was thinking about was, um, you know, making sure that energy from a game seven to carry it over into game one. What was the key over 48 hours to, to playing with that same kind of intensity? Uh, just being disciplined, being detailed uh, defensively.